Hello, my dear friends. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is Kumar from India. Greetings on behalf of uh, Jesus for all generations ministries as a director and the founder, president uh, to that ministry. And uh, our heart is to preach the gospel, teach the word of God and heal the sick people. And especially for India, our goal is to plant a 200 churches, feeding the poor, rescuing the orphans, uh, orphans and uh, uh, helping the widows and poor. Wanted to make it 200 disciples, teach and train them under our uh, leadership, uh, anointing leadership. Hallelujah. Please keep praise for uh, this big vision. And uh, we wanted to have a big land for a Bible school, Bible college, and uh, orphan, orphan, orphanage, and widow home as a church building, as for a church, uh, church building, and also for our living there in the, inside the campus. So please keep praise. We just wanted to teach and train, make them the disciples, 200, and wanted to send them as native missionaries in India for planting 200 churches. Hallelujah. That's okay. That's a, uh, <laughs> that's a reason. And uh, we will let you know uh, on our timeline and we will keep um, posting about that and keep talking about that uh, for God's glory. And for, but now, uh, this is uh, for increasing your faith life in daily faith life. Because we need much more encouragement. Today, in these days, we must be very strong. Uh, in our faith because there is a benefit for our Christian life or, or for our spiritual lives by our faith in Christ Jesus. If you don't have faith, it is very simple truth that you have to remember God cannot work with you. <laughs> that is a very simple truth. If you don't believe in faith, don't ex expect God to work with you. Don't expect greater things from God. Don't expect for miracles, signs and wonders in your life. These saints shall follow that those who believes in the Lord. Believing means having faith, trust in God. Amen. Today, this is a, a Zoom Sunday service. Just, I just wanted to encourage you by the word of God uh, and um, under the leading of the Holy Ghost. Just for a half an hour, please bear with us. Most probably, so many people used to go to the church, reading Bible, praying, fasting, and doing something. And they don't still get a miracle. They still don't get a miracle. Why? Why does means a lot to tell about why? Uh, one of my best friends in America, Mike Frangi, told me, Kumar, if anybody asks you, what is the time now? You tell him or her, it's the miracle time. 
It's the miracle time. It's the time for miracles in your life. In this world, all the heathen people have to believe God through his mighty power that manifests in your life as miracles. That's important. Live on this earth as a powerful Christian, as a powerful follower of the Lord Jesus Christ to please God and 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 and, uh, and uh, let your faith work for God to work with you. This is very 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 important thing in all our lives. If our God don't work with us, then who will work for us? Who will protect us? Who will provide to us? Who will take away our souls in the heaven, our spirit? So my friends, Accept God. God has to work with us. God has to perform his miracles in our lives. I just wanted to uh, mention a couple of things here. In the life of Lazarus, look of John 11th chapter. He was dead, he has two sisters, Martha and Mary. And he was buried after death. And there were so many good things written in the book of uh, John 11, 11, chapter verses 13, 38 to 40, I'm reading, okay. Jesus, Therefore, again groaning in himself, coming to the grave, it was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Hallelujah. While Jesus was coming unto the Lazarus grave, a tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. When he, excuse me, when he was come to the grave, okay, on those days, uh, people used to bury the dead bodies in caves. That's the grave stone, grave, grave or tombs. He saw a stone on the grave, on the, on the cave, okay? Jesus said, take ye away the stone. Jesus said unto them, the disciples, the disciples Take ye away the stone. This is a, a, a very different subject. We can talk with this a different, different topic on the stone, but I'm not talking on, this, on, on the subject of stone, but I'm talking here on the subject of what Jesus has told unto them. Jesus said unto them to take away the stone 
upon the care which covers the grave. Why he was talking like that? And Martha was speaking to Mary, uh, Jesus, Jesus, the sister of him, Martha, that was dead. Satan to Jesus, Lord, by this time, he stinketh, for he had been dead four days. Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, that if you thou believest, Thou shouldest see the glory of God. If you thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. If you believe and you see the glory of God, that's the miracle, okay? What he was talking, take ye away the stone, first of all. But Martha entered and disturbing the the, the word of the Lord and the work of the Lord there. Martha become an offensive to the work of God. And Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, said unto her, if you don't will, if you thou wouldest believe, shouldest see the glory of God. And then they took away the stone from the place where he was dead, or where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you. Okay. Jesus did not move forward until what he has said unto them, until what they have done according to what he has said unto them. Listen to this. If you are going to if you are truly believing Jesus and going to the church, reading the word of God and praying, fasting, making fasting. But you have to remember this. Are you listening to the word of the Holy Ghost? Are, are you listening to God? Number one. If you're listening, if you're listening, are you doing according the word of God. Two questions. Serious kingdom questions. These two are very, very serious kingdom questions. Are you hearing from God and are you doing what you you have heard from God. Jesus did not look into the heaven unto his father until they did what they did what the Lord has told unto them. Then he lifted his eyes up into the heaven. Hallelujah. Then he had come when they removed the stone, they when they taken away the stone upon the cave. Then he lifted up into the heaven praised God, thanked God, his father. And then commanded the dead to raise up from the grave. Uh, commanded the 
life to be manifested in, in a dead body, which was buried four days ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are to do simply that what he has said unto us. That's very important. Don't listen to every word that whom the devil arranges people to speak to you. Respect the Holy Ghost. Respect the Holy Spirit. Respect the Lord, the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus will not come and uh, uh, Jesus will not come and manifest his miracle if we if we do if we ignore his wise word and uh, and uh, and avoid to do according to his command. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the people to follow his words, the Lord's words. Very, very, very important. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Very, very important, my friends. Likewise, but a miracle had happened in the tomb behind the store. If, we, if they don't remove away the stone, the miracle would not be happening. They did the occurring, then they took away, then they took away the stone. When Jesus said to remove the stone, when Jesus told, take ye away the stone, and then they took away. Then they took away. After that, he looked into the heaven. And move and move forward, and move forward, and move forward to manifest his miracle in their lives. The important thing here is Lazarus did not go anywhere. See there. Lazarus was dead. He did not he did not, he, he has no movements. <laughs> has no movement. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But how the miracle happened? Hallelujah. But how? But how the miracle happened? Jesus came to him. Jesus have reached unto him. He did not go anywhere. He did not go anywhere. He did not go anywhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Today, this is a very big question in our Christian community. 
people are running after people, not after God. People are running after people, but not after God. That is why the miracle was not happening in the lives because they are running into the places. Jesus, let Jesus come and encounter you. You have to encounter Jesus. Not to travel, not by traveling, not by pilgrimage, not by any, anywhere. You have to encounter Jesus at your prayers. Let the miracle tie with you at your location. At your location. Jesus, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thank you. Talk now. Come on. Let me talk to you. If you are staying in Chicago, and if there's, there's not, nothing happened in your life, you will think to move somewhere, like uh, you will go to Texas. And you, thought, you will think that you, you, your thoughts like Thoughts would be like this. If I go to Texas, I can, I, I can be blessed. No, there must not be change in your location. There must be change in your thinking, in your mind. Renew your mind. Not your land. That is very important today in this world. You don't need to move on to Texas. You still can live in Chicago and can have God's grace, God's power, God's miracles. Hallelujah. All the land and all the earth and its fullness is of God. And the grace of God is with us. Grace works with us. That is just, you should not, you should not, you should not, you should not listen to everyone that what he, what this speaks to you. You have to listen to God. See that in Matthew 24, 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret charm chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For so, for wherever, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will the, there will the eagles be gathered together. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened. Okay, see there. See there, this is very important. Very, very, very important. Go not there. Somebody, somebody speaks, Christ is there. 
Lord is there. Jesus is there. Power is there. No, no. Everywhere. His power is there. Christ is everywhere. Jesus is everywhere. With every believer. With every church. You do not need to be worried. You do not need to be changed your location. Let your miracle happens at your location. Let, let the miracle because let the miracle be tied with you at your location. This is a very, very important lesson to I'm sure. To know more about. Hallelujah. I have told you before, if they, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Go not forth. Be he, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because they shall deceive the very elect. They shall deceive the very elect. False prophets shall show great signs and wonders. Hallelujah. False Christ. Hallelujah. It is Christ or they believe, believe it not. <laughs> False Christ. So my brothers and sisters, I'm talking this. And, 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 and asking you to only believe the word of God, the word of the Lord, the voice of the Holy Spirit but not any other words. Hear the voice of the Lord and do it. Do according to it and see then your miracle. Like Sadrach, Meshach, Abednego. They were put in the fire of the lake, uh, in the lake of the fire. They, they thrown them three but the king and uh, the, uh, that king and the people of uh, the, the country, Babylon, have seen four people in the fiery furnace. That was the miracle. They were in the fire. Lazarus was in the, in the grave, behind the rock, in a cave. But miracle taken place. Miracle has tied with, tied up with him. Jesus came there to the to the cave and to the cave and to the grave. And Jesus came into the fiery furnace and be be with Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Wonderful. He said that I am with you always. I am with you always, always. That's the, that's, that's the way that we have to learn for miracles. Believe that this is the time for your miracle. This is your time for your miracle. 
This is my time for my miracles. God. God is with us. And he, he, he comes unto us. No matter what, what the situation that we are facing, either we can be in a grave or cave or in fire or in waters or in, in crisis, whatever it could be, whatever it could be. That is very, 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 very important. If you lose your faith at the time, you lose your miracle. You have to still believe God, though you were in the cave, in the grave, in the in the in the in the fire. How they lived in the fire? How, how Lazarus lived in the tomb? Lazarus did not open the, oh, you know, they took away the stone, but they did not open the tomb or the grave of Lazarus. Who opened that? How Lazarus stood at the, uh, at the gate of uh, uh, the cave. That's the power of the Holy Spirit. They were the miracles. This Lazarus stood. Lazarus stood with the rapid cross. See there? And when the he had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lord, let us come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. He was bound by the tomb, first of all. He was, he was. So many. Then he was born by the grave clothes. Jesus said unto them, loose, loose, loose. Take away the stones, okay? First of all, take away the stone, okay? Take ye away the stone. That's number one. And uh, believe. Believe. And uh, then uh, it's at the loose. One, two, three. <laughs> this is the way that the Lord will work with us, my friends. If we come to hear his word and do according to his word, believe for miracles. Lazarus did not do anything but Mary, Martha. Still believe in Jesus for doing miracles. And Jesus came for there. Lazarus did not go anywhere. Lazarus did not go anywhere. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When Jesus came there and performed a miracle in his in Lazarus' life, 
Jesus work for a miracle in the lives of Martha and Mary, according to their faith. Hallelujah. So still continue to believe Jesus for miracles. Your miracles are going to tie with you at your location in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. May God bless you, my friends. Father God, bless all the viewers and help them to believe you to hear your voice and, and to do according to the word of yours for receiving their miracles in Jesus' name. May the love of God and the grace of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, also the sweet fellowship of the Holy Cross, shall be abiding with us now and forever and ever and ever. Amen. If you really want to be Uh, a prayer partner with us and 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 uh, be a partner to help uh, help the gospel work to advance the gospel and the kingdom of God in India. Please do in uh, please uh, please please do write to us at Pastor Kumar twenty five P A S T O R K U M A R twenty five at Gmail dot God bless. Or uh, WhatsApp me at uh, plus nine one nine nine oh eight seven three one six seven seven. God bless you. Bye bye. Take care. Love you guys.